I'll make it very worth your while. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I'm continuing on doing the Stranger missions. And in this case, if a character buys the Sonar Collection Docs, a character by the name of Abigail Mathers activates. And I usually have Michael buy this. And then he does the two missions, Death at Sea and What Lies Beneath which then will allow him to interact with Abigail again. And in doing so, he will then deal with Abigail, and it's kind of a mystery. She has Michael collect submarine parts, and, well, once he gets all 30, and yes, it's 30 parts, it kind of drags, I'll deal with that when I get deeper into the video. She then, well, we'll let it play out, and I'll let the ending play out. You get a submersible to collect canisters and all the other fun stuff with purchasing the sonar collection dock. But I will get on with the first part, which is Death at Sea. Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Abigail then gives you a dinghy at the docks to which you can use to collect the submarine parts. Now, it's 30 parts. It actually takes a lot less than you think because the parts are actually clustered together. So... It's not a lot of travel time. It's just between areas is where travel time can be a problem. When you get into the dinghy, the sonar starts to work differently. On the map, you'll see this green area. That is where you're going to start looking. And as you approach the green area, the sonar starts activating, and you can use it to kind of narrow in where the submarine parts are. Now you can hear the sonar pinging and once you get Michael as close to the sonar ring making it as tight as possible, as tiny as possible, Michael can jump out and dive down into the water. Unfortunately, I, you know, will save before you do anything because there are sharks out there and I advise getting a knife from the local ammunition because you can actually end up getting eaten by sharks. And I did not end up in collecting all of the um, pieces 
get eaten by a shark, and Michael seems to be having some trouble diving. But once you get underwater, you can locate the pieces and pick them up. And like I said, they're usually clustered together. I'm not going to show you all the pieces or anything like that because I can't get Michael to dive for some reason. But I'm going to move on to the final part of the mission. Once you get Michael to dive below the water, yeah, actually the best way to do it is trying to get back onto the boat and jump in. But I digress. I'm going to move on to the next part of the mission. Wait here. Nah. Like I said, I'm moving on to the next part of the mission. You can hunt for all the, all the pieces you want. Okay, here, jump into the water. There we go. Michael is underwater. Again, ah, shoot. That didn't work out well. Once you get all the pieces, Abigail will send you a text message about meeting her at the dock with the information about her husband's submarine wreck. You can try calling her back and she will just say, you know, instead of contacting the police, call me with any information. Now I'm going to bring Michael back to the docks and confront Abigail. My hero. Hey, I found it. Well, here's the good stuff. Oh, you precious, precious man. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I think the airlocks were tampered with. No, no, that's just normal wear and tear. It may surprise you to learn that along with being a beautiful, finely put together woman, I am also an expert in nautical engineering and glass degradation. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, look, it's, oh. Looks like Frank tried to scratch a message in with his last dying breath. It says, someone tampered with the airlocks. airlocks. How can that be? My poor Frank. It must have been his ex-wife. Very bitter woman. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. I'm not a detective, you know, but something doesn't ring true here. No, no, I know. The police are in on it. I'm going to take this to the FIB. They'll know what to do. Yeah, well, that's your business. Hey, ho, whoa! whoa. You said you're gonna make it worth my while. Yes, yes. This should be plenty for your time and discretion. It's ten bucks. Oh. Here's a signed photo of Frank. He was a lovely person. You would have been great friends. He loved his fans. I've got to get going to the FIB. I mean, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Now you can shoot or not shoot Abigail. The second you have a chance to activate your weapons wheel, you make that decision. I just shoot her out of principle. I mean, yeah, Michael is a thief, robbed banks, killed people, dozens of people, robbed jewelry stores. Why would he care if this woman is committing insurance fraud? Well, 10 bucks and an autographed photo for all that work, yeah, I just shoot her out of principle. If you enjoyed this video, uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. I post four videos a week related to video games, and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you won't miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.